Hello everyone, this is a video on the Renogy 100 watt suitcase solar panel and uh, this is the one with the pre-wired charge controller. Uh, we've had this panel set up for our trailer for about two and a half years now and it has been to probably about 25 national parks and then I can't even count all the state parks and national monuments, these things uh, that we have camped in. Comes in this great little case over here. So the case flips open like that, has slots for the handle that is built into the side of the panels here. You can see where that is. It latches on the side. I'll fold it up later and show you. And it definitely works. The suitcase function is legit, I can say. So you can see here it has built-in legs that are very easy to fold in, just like that. Super easy, they lock very nicely. And so if you get to camp, ignore the fact that the cable's sticking out. Open that up, pull this guy out, unlatch it. Literally two latches. Two legs. <laughs> and we're good to go. It takes literally that long. Here we are, facing the sun. Getting our full amperage. So, that's the story. Love the suitcase panel. In fact, if you need more wads, you could just get two of these. I mean, they're so easy and to pack, uh, especially if you have a bigger rig, if you have a big van or a trailer of any kind. I mean, they're so flat. It's just really easy to pack them up. So we just slide it in the entryway of our trailer. It's the first thing out, last thing in. This Renogy Voyager charge controller is uh, stated to be waterproof, and I have definitely tested that over the few, last few years. Now, once you leave the uh, west or the southwest of the United States, you get a lot more rain. Uh, <laughs> we've been traveling the eastern parts of the United States for the last couple years, and uh, this thing is held up. I leave it out in the rain all the time. Uh, we're in the Outer Banks of North Carolina right now, and it rained, we had some thunder, lightning the other night, and I just left it positioned like this for the uh, morning sun, and no issue at all. It definitely lives up to the claim that it is waterproof, and we leave this out in the rain all the time when we're camping, and never any issue. It, the connectors that hook up here, MC4, I even have this thing taped up now because I ripped it out one night tripping over it. I've adapted these to SAE Quick Connects, and I have it the same on my battery, which I'll show you instead of the alligator clips. I just hook it up and go. Here's the lithium 100 amp hour battery we have for the trailer. Obviously these are hardwired to the trailer, but I added this SAE Quick Connect setup here so that all I have to do when I get to camp is connect the panel that way. And it has been awesome. Uh, had that since earlier this year. Just replacing the alligator clips that it originally came with that connected to these MC4s here so that's been a cool upgrade all right so it's about 10 a.m in october this thing's already almost pulling five amps which is awesome pretty much tops at about 5.5 amps all right so you can actually select the display you can have amperage uh, how many amp hours have gone into the battery for the day it re resets once it's like dark and the panel is not pulling any juice and you see the voltage as well the battery and then also you can see this meter actually shows whether the battery is, you know, empty, partially full or full. So I've never tested that against any other type of measurement, but it seems to be accurate. And uh, this will actually even flash full when the battery's topped off, which is rad. And here you see that this is a lithium, you see LifePo4, uh, 
selected there. So this light color will change depending on what type of battery you have. And then that just shows if the panel is active, like it's getting sun. So uh, definitely an awesome little charge controller, actually. I like it better than the other standard uh, Renogy one. So the fact that this comes as the pre-wired option is really rad. I think it's a, it's a good little charge controller. Uh, it is PWM, it's not MPPT. So if you're picky about that, then something for you to know. So technically there's two 50 watt panels wired up together. So just unscientifically what I've observed in numerous geographic locations at different times of the year is about five to five and a half amps output from this panel. So it's been great to see that consistency pretty much all over. If you don't need the uh, charge controller, if you're using a power station with a built-in charge controller, you can just get one of these with no charge controller. It's only, a, it's a little bit less. Renogy 100 watt suitcase panel has been awesome. I definitely recommend it. It's been solid. We've definitely used and abused it. Definitely a big thumbs up 